Felicia's neighbors were both shaken up and frustrated. Felicia, they were able to get help to the victims of that crash, but they're now shifting their focus on what they believe caused the crash speed. The entire accident caught on surveillance camera. And it sounded like an explosion. Imagine enjoying a Sunday afternoon inside your home, looking out towards the water, and then this happens. And saw like a movie, a boat flying right at what looked like coming into our living room. It wasn't a movie, but Vincent Pellerito and his wife Cynthia had front row seats to a boat losing control, heading straight for their backyard on Palmwood Road in Palm Beach Gardens. On their surveillance cameras, you can see the boat smash into their neighbor's dock and slide against the seawall before also smashing into the Pellerito's dock. There could have been a fatality, at a, which is obviously horrible. Someone could have been killed, hurt, you name it. Watch again. You can see someone tumble out of the boat just moments before impact. Vincent says two people were ejected. His dog Oreo just barely missing the flying debris. Palm Beach County Fire Rescue says there were no serious injuries. Vincent says the boat's high speed is something he sees way too much of in that part of the Intracoastal where the speed limit is 25 miles per hour. We have boats flying by. No one cares. Everyone will just fly by. Kaylin Riccardi's aunt lives at the home where the boat first hit. This area really needs to be a no wake zone because no one cares at all. You'll honk, you tell people to slow down. No one listens. They just fly right by you. This was a warning shot. This this calamity of an accident was a was a warning shot across the bow. Neighbors are now coming together to get the speed limit lowered. This time tragedy avoided barely. I would have been looking at a at a large boat parked in the middle of my family room. I reached out to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission about the process to, to reduce speed limits in certain areas of the waterway or establish an awake zone. They responded in part the first step in the process would be to work with either your city or county officials and have them evaluate if there is a public safety need. It goes on to say the city or county will need to submit a formal request to the petition to the state and request a petition the state of Florida to enter rulemaking or to change or establish a zone. I also contacted Palm Beach County Fire Rescue to find out if speed was indeed a factor in this particular crash, but I'd have to heard back just yet. Shane Wright, WPBF 25 News.